Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to look at a newly released pistol from the US government. They've been holding on to these in warehouses for years. These were made in the 40s. It's called a CMP pistol. That stands for Civilian Marksmanship Program. And check out this case. Now I remember when people were very excited to get their hands on these until they saw the price. They are not cheap at all. But get a load of the case it comes in. I mean, this thing is like a suitcase. But here it is. It's a 1911. There it is. I mean, it, it does not sway away too much from the modern 1911s. Or shall I say the modern 1911s have not swayed away too much from this. This is an original 1911. Primarily a combination of Ithacas, Remingtons, and Colts. The CMP pistol that so many people were excited about, but they are not cheap at all. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way, and we'll talk about this here 1911. It embodies everything that the modern 1911 is doing. We're going to compare them in a minute, but you're looking at, for, for this here gun, $1,050. Now, I recall reading somewhere that the government intentionally raised the price on these because of the fear that it would get into the wrong hands and somebody would use it in a violent way and that way they did not want to be held responsible but if you're a collector or you love historical surplus guns this one with this condition would cost you a thousand and fifty dollars they also have what's called a field grade this is a service grade they also have a field grade which has minor rusting and pitting that's 950 and then the third is a rack grade for $850, and that's when it has some serious rusting and pitting, and it's unknown if it's actually usable. So that would require most likely a gunsmith to own it. But check this out. A couple of things I noticed right away. You, know, you get the same feeling as a modern 1911, as you should, but it does come with an arched mainspring housing. Check out the trigger. That's one of the things I noticed. Look at how thin that is. Not a lot of real estate there. Now, the magazines are the same. They're actually interchangeable with today's 1911s. But there's not a lot of real estate there. It is a serrated trigger. But when you pull it, you can just feel like it's almost like this blade coming at you. We're used to a wider trigger. This one does not have that. And I measure the trigger weight right at 6 pounds. So it does have a heavier trigger weight, plastic grips. It does have the serial number there, and then some markings there. It says M1911A1, U.S. Army, and over here it says United States Property, along with the serial number. So it's not evident what maker produced this, but it is. It's a piece of history right here, and, and many guys, like my buddy Mike, uh, owns this gun. And he said he just wanted it for a, a collector's piece. And he took it to the range and said, this thing shot dead nuts. As a 1911 should. A couple things that we'll notice with a modern 1911. Here's my Desert Eagle 1911. Let's first check out the beaver tail. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. Okay, look at the, the, the extended beaver tail opposed to the, the older ones from the 40s. All right, then we can see we have a skeletonized hammer and trigger nothing of the sort with the cmp pistol we look at the serrations very different although a lot of modern 1911s have real tight serrations like that and then this one has front serrations check out the sights this has integrated sights there very small and then the front sight is tiny all right so if we compare that with a modern 1911 we'll see that there are big differences there and then, of course, the trigger. I mentioned the new ones are wider. Check out how wide that is. You know, when you when you when you feel it, you could just tell a difference. Now, this trigger measures right at about three pounds. It's very light. And meanwhile, this trigger right here, about double that, right around six pounds. And another thing worth noting is that the the thumb safety. Look at that extended thumb safety. Well, we'll go ahead and we can see that the, the thumb safety is extended much wider. So back then, they, they, they didn't skeletonize anything. They made everything 
very basic the cm pistol has a parkerized finish the modern 1911s have the you know the g10 grips the custom work on it and everything but the function is the same with a five inch barrel government size 1911 even the magazines are the same i mentioned they were interchangeable so here we have the cmp magazine pretty standard with 1911s and it works just fine and the same thing with this they obviously do not have the base plate there but that would work just fine as well it's pretty cool it's, it's very historical and you know you, you have to want it you have to really want this thing to to appreciate it you know when you're going to pay over a thousand dollars for a 1911 then you know you, you're 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 putting out some bucks for that no question about it we'll go ahead and take take that off and break it down show you what we're looking at take out the pin here and here it is you take this cap off and then the recoil spring gi guide rod now a lot of the modern 1911s have a full length guide rod like this one has and many also stick with the GI guide rod, okay, also known as a partial length guide rod. And then we'll take out the barrel. You can see that it does have the, the locking lugs right there in the slide as well. And then the link, everything there, exactly the same as we know it, as we want it, and as we expect from a 1911 handgun. So there it is, guys. The CMP pistol, Civilian Marksmanship Program. This one is in real good condition. Cost you $1,050. That will get you a nice modern 1911. Or if you're into surplus, if you're into the, the guns that performed in war, if you're into something with historical value, and you want to get your hands on this, they'll be available in the lottery system, they're only releasing these uh, after so long. They, they released 8,000 of them, and then they're going to release more and so forth. You have to read up on it. But it, it's, a, it's a nice hang on here. It's $1,000. Oh, you know, you have to put that money commitment out if this is what you want. But my buddy Mike wanted it. He got it. I appreciate him letting me feature this with this review. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.